Hey, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another Chill Art Sunday. On this Sunday that is actually quite hot where I live right now, 32 degrees Celsius, and I have not got a fan to cool me down this time, so I might melt. <laughs> But regardless, welcome to the stream, everyone, and happy, happy Sunday. I went ahead and already opened the, the stuff that I'm going to be working on today. To save some time so let me get started after all today is already the the 18th of December and uh, Christmas is already on next Friday and I am afraid that after all I might not be able to finish this in time for Christmas as I have hoped and that sucks <laughs> Uh, okay, so the last thing I was doing, the last stream, the last time I have worked on this last week, was this this imprint the tail has left on the snow. I said that I wanted to make this look like uh, this tail has actually been dragged through the snow. And... Uh, So that, that is what I should try to accomplish now. Okay, I know this color is wrong, but right now I'm just trying to find the more the most appropriate brush to try in the end make the effect that I want. Because you know when you drag your hands across the sand and It leaves a nice trail behind. That is the sort of stuff that I am trying to 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 make here. But in order to achieve that, I need to find the most appropriate brush. Oh, that's an interesting brush. Because the first thing is, oh, what is this? I, I'm not sure what exactly this brush is, but I'm pretty sure I can make some interesting th things with this. Mm, I like this, it's nice. I gotta remember about this brush for later. Now, I am looking for some brush that... what even is this? <laughs> I'm looking for some brush that, that can make... not sparkles, but... Uh, I, I don't know how to describe what exactly I want the brush to make, but... I needed to make some sort of pattern that then I can use the smudge to a uh, smudge tool to drag around what is this brush interesting this brush only applies itself to the areas where it has already gone through huh weird But yeah, and it, no, this this is not the kind of brush that I need. I think I have a right to check at this one. The brush I want is definitely in this area. Maybe one of these, or actually, hold on. These, one of these is what I, I believe I need. I'm gonna change the size to 300. Uh, not really, because I need to leave, to make some marks on the snow, kind of like this, but more apart from each other, so then I can use the smudge tool, but this is almost like what I need, but I, at the same time it's quite far from what I need, this, no. I have found 
the, uh, the, the kind of burst that I need so many times before when I wasn't looking for it. It's ironic that now that I need said brush, I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> oh, karma. Maybe some of these uh, liquid brushes? I mean, could work, but the pattern is way too uniform. That is not going to translate well into smudging. These are just bubbles. Freaking bubbles! These are waves. These here are clouds, so definitely not. I think these are also clouds. Yeah, it's actually puffs of smoke. It's nice, but not what I am looking for. More bubbles. water surface although yeah I, I was gonna say this could be used as a surface of snow but no it looks too liquid if it if it didn't look as liquid li like that then as a waterfall then with the the right color it could look like the the surface of snow This is closer to what I need, but not quite there yet. Yeah, this is a little farther away from what I need. What is this? Not what I need, that's for sure. And what about this one? Hmm, nah. Well, maybe, maybe this one could work. Maybe. Okay, I am making this on a separate layer. So there is no problem if I go outside. Uh, yeah, this color. Because the way I am going to do is... I am going to select the, the shape... to then run the effect inside of this. I'm not quite sure this is actually going to going to work. I am going to try, let's see what happens. Let me select the thing and grab the selection. And now grab the smudge tool. This is going to take forever to apply. Remember last Sunday? <laughs> That took ages. Whatever, I'm gonna try. Here we go. And now, just like last Sunday, I have no choice but wait. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a little game of tic-tac-toe on this computer, so I could play while I wait this. I might have Tetris. Let me minimize this. Photoshop. Okay, it's not going to minimize. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I'm going to instead just open a new window then. Uh, emulators. I'm pretty sure I must have something simple for a Game Boy. Visual Boy Advance. Others. Battleship. 
That could take a while though. Nah. Top gear pocket. Nah, I thought I had Tetris, but apparently I do not. If I had Tetris here, I would play some Tetris while I wait for Photoshop to apply that effect. Because, you know, it would be something to do while, while we wait instead of just sitting around. But, nah, I don't have Tetris. I, I could swear I had Tetris for the Game Boy. Why don't I have Tetris for the Game Boy? Come on, Mike. That is ridiculous. Disney Warner Bros. What is in here? Eh, nothing interesting. Oh well. So, reminder for to myself: get Tetris for Game Boy sometime soon. The application of the effect is not even showing yet. Hmm. So I have no choice but to sit around and wait. Dang it. Okay, you know what? I may not have Tetris on the Game Boy to, to use as a distraction, but I can play tic-tac-toe. All I need is MS Paint. There we go, MS Paint. I am going to use a small window so we can see Photoshop back there. Let me adjust the size of this stuff. Okie dokie. Unless this is what I want. Yeah, I'm going to use this brush. Right. So let's do the grid. Yup. Yup. Here we go. Easy peasy. Select and copy. The, the, the funny thing about uh, Tic-Tac-Toe is that if you play against yourself, you are always going to win while losing at the same time. It's kind of philosophical. Okay, I'm going to begin here with uh, the X. And then my outer ego is going to play a circle over there. Let's do the X here again. Oh no, I gotta block him. There we go, blocked. Let's try an X over here, walk over there again, X here, Ta -da. and it's a tie. Let's reset. Now circle will begin up there, and an X here, circle, X, effect, please. I can see the selection moving back there, but nothing else is happening, seemingly. Yeah, Photoshop is still is still working. Okay, so the X was the last one, so circle X. Circle again, X, and another circle, and that's another tie. The X, circle, X, circle, X, circle, 
X circle X oh I did I actually didn't see this <laughs> circle could have could have uh, stopped X from winning I actually did not notice that huh interesting Okay, I just hold on, hold on. Let me readjust the position of my chair over here because I am a little uncomfortable. There we go. That's better. I am almost sure that effect is not actually being applied, even though Photoshop is supposedly doing something. Okay, so far that's been X one. Circle zero. Uh, let's begin with circle X, circle X, circle X there, circle to block the X over here, X to block the circle here, and another circle, and that's another time. X circle X circle Oh okay <laughs> I didn't see that either So that is another win for set for X Okay if by the next victory of X if nothing changes over here I'm gonna press escape on Photoshop to cancel the application of the effect because I, I'm pretty sure that is not actually functioning. Photoshop is doing something. It is processing. But I don't see anything being applied there. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, uh, circle. X. Circle X. Circle. X circle X and circle another tie let's begin with an X over here okay Photoshop just minimized itself <laughs> interesting X circle X circle X over here obviously let's block that X with a circle over there oh X has had circle surrounded and that is another victory for X awesome 3 to 0 okay Photoshop Do something. It did. It minimized itself and then it cancelled this much tool. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I am such an idiot. The effect was uh, being applied. It was working. The problem is, look over here. I inverted the selection so the effect only applied outside of the area it should have been applied. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do this all over again. Fine. There. Now onwards, so a whole lot more waiting. You know, while I wait, I'm actually going to get Tetris. I'm not going to do this on this screen here, however. Now, let's see here.
they could have made a a tic-tac-toe game for Game Boy back in the day. That would be fun. No, I can see the effect being applied there now. So that is good. At least this time I can see that I have applied the effect on the on the correct place this time. Okay, I think this one is what I'm looking for. Let me grab the file. Showing file manager. We run a quick scan with the antivirus just to make sure it is actually safe. It says zero infected files. Okay, seems to be legit. Okay, let's call forth the the Game Boy emulator. There it is, Tetris. Oh, that's a big resolution. <laughs> let's put it over here so I can see the effect back there on Photoshop. 1987. And that classic music. Music type. Thank you. 
I completely forgot that I have Tetris on my, on my Game Boy. I just haven't played in many, many years. That is all. Oh, that was a good chuck I have removed there. It looks like Photoshop is almost done. Okay. <laughs> at least it's something, other than just sitting here and staring at the screen, waiting for stuff to happen. Oh, actually, let's hit this one here. Brilliant. This one here. I'm actually not... Hey, Photoshop is done. Finally. Uh, well, yeah, that is kind of what I was hoping that I would achieve. It needs a few touches, though. It needs a few touches. So I'm going to have to run Smudge 2 on this again because as you can see here on the border the effect has not really been applied there also should probably be using a different brush yeah that is a mistake I have done on the other day as well uh, I need something that is spreads Wow, are you really going to take this long to apply just this tech uh, test? Photoshop? Really? It's just a test application of the brush to see what it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is the brush that I want. Alright, let's try another one. This one maybe? Let's see what this looks like. Oh, this here might actually be the brush that I, that I need for this effect. Let's make this larger at a size of 300. No, 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 300 is too small. 1,000! That's 100. <laughs> I forgot to add another zero. There we go. Uh, I see stuff happening there. I'm not sure if this is exactly what I want, though. Yeah, no, this brush is not quite what I need. It looks cool while it, while, while it is applying the effect, however. It does look kind of cool. Oh no, let's cancel. Let's try another brush. <sighs> this side, by the way, was not because I am frustrated or tired or, or something. It's just because it is very hot in here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Those are some sparkles, but 
Sparkles are not what I need. Trees, definitely not trees. Confetti, no. I feel like one of these should be it. It feels right, even though I have tried this before and it didn't look nice. Okay, back to Tetris while we wait for Photoshop. There. Oh, perfect. The cookie piece. It does look like a cookie. Starting to get a little tough over here in Tetris Land. Yeah, that's not really what I wanted to do, but I needed to eliminate at least one roll. Oh, hey! Photoshop is done. Let's see. Yeah, that is actually better. Yeah. Okay, so let's do another run with this brush over the whole thing. And let's see what that looks like. Progress is being made. It's amazing how this game was the most sold game on the Game Boy back in the day. So simple. No, oh, actually, this one. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Put the cookie over there. Oh, hey, uh, it looks like I am almost done with this level. Ah, I spoke too soon. I hope photo Photoshop is almost done with applying that effect. Because I can't just sit here playing Tetris all day. Done. 
Is it? I saw the 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 waiting the waiting thing go away. No, Photoshop is still doing something. Dang it, I thought it was done. The waiting cursor has disappeared. It has fooled me! Must be done now. Come on, it isn't. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna guess. Oh, hold on, let me press minimize on Photoshop over there. It's not going to respond because it's supposedly still doing its thing. So, when it's actually done, it should minimize by itself. Well, not really, it's just a delayed command. Meanwhile, Tetris. Hey, there we go. Now it is done. All right, let's see. Undo, redo, undo, redo. Yeah, I think there's a little more like what I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. Although, it looks a bit weird because I have made this on a separate layer on top of the of the thing, so I need to change a few more, uh, change, not not change, uh, apply a few more effects to make this kind of blend in with the with the mark on the snow below. So let's change these things here. This is really not changing much. Ugh, <laughs> that looks like mud. <laughs> that is not what I want. Divide hue, saturation, luminosity. Uh, nope. What if instead I move this layer below the, the other one? Now let's try changing these things here. Also should probably apply some opacity to the layer. Yeah, so like use one of these that make it more visible, but luminosity. And no. But then, okay, let's skip normal, but just add opacity. Well, change opacity, rather. Uh, let's think invert the selection. Grab the eraser and erase the stuff that is outside here. Because these are not necessary. Alright, let's see now. Uh, yeah, that, that is a little better, I guess. What happens if I copy the layer style of the tail print on the snow and apply to this thing? Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. But not good either. Uh, 
All right, yeah, this is working. This is working. Uh, let me let me name this layer. What should I name this? Uh, tail trails. Sure, why not? Now I'm not happy with uh, with these marks over here. So let's see. Maybe if I run the this mm. no 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 not this brush a round soft 300 brush maybe over here you know I want to make this look more smooth a little better I think I'm going to keep it let's see over here yeah I think that I, I that can stay like that okay so that's gonna be it for the tail although I'm still not very happy with uh, with the shape itself let me select these here and uh, let me move this anchor over there. And what happens if I do this? Pull it all the way over there. Maybe I can apply warp. Ah, oh, that's fine. Yeah, I suppose this will look a little better, but there's also more stuff applied on the actual snow itself below. And I cannot really change that because that's on the actual snow texture layer. So I would have to redo this whole thing. Well, half of this thing. I don't really want to do that. Okay, I'm going to keep it like this. And uh, I do need to, however, move these prints to below the, the trees layers. Right here, below this group. There we go. And the reason for that is because it was above and it was showing above here. And speaking of showing above, actually this tree is in the path of this tail thing. So let's hide the dragon. And uh, actually, let's not hide the dragon instead. Let's make him visible. Let's go on the trees layer. Now I gotta find in which layer this tree here is. I found it. It's right here. <laughs> it's the first one I tried. Let's take a hard round brush, make it a little larger. Yep. And let's erase this. There we go. And let's also erase a couple paw prints that the dragon has left on the snow. I need to erase these three here. Well, yeah, these three. Because, you know, when he sat down, his tail swiped, swept the snow, and these should have been covered. There we go. That's better. Oh, yeah. Now, because this change I have just made was more... Uh, was a bigger of a change than just the effect of the trace there. I am going to save this as Alpha 3 for backup purposes. And it's saved. Okay. 
Now the next thing I want to do is Actually I think everything here is ready for for shaving. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, I'm going to the kitchen to get some water because believe me it is very hot in here. And when I get back I will continue. So be right back. Okie dokie, I am back and I brought some fresh water. It's not cold because the weather is too hot and the, and the filter did not manage to make this actually cold. Uh, I swear, I'm so going to take a cold shower once I am done with this stream. <laughs> Just to refresh myself. Uh, anyway, so the next thing I, sh I, th I think I should be doing now is... Oh, actually, I believe this is all ready to begin the shading process. Yeah, I don't think I need to apply any more effects on the snow. Yeah, you know, in terms of footprints, paw prints, hoof prints, tail prints, whatever. Uh, everything seems to be in order. Yeah. Okay, so now the question is, where should I begin the shading? The characters or the background? I think I should probably do the characters first yeah I think I'm gonna do the characters first and I'm going to begin with a dragon because he's the largest character here he's the one who's going to take the most time to to make any shading uh, so in terms of where the light is coming from I think I want the light to be coming hmm 
from the front actually yeah so like coming from the front of the dragon into this direction here see kind of like this that should be nice okay so let's well first let's hide uh, this over here let's expand Braveheart and his layers are not merged yet I see that is there any reason why I have not merged these layers yet was I thinking about doing anything else I don't think so I don't remember that face is actually kind of cute <laughs> even though he's a dragon uh, no, I think it is safe to, to merge these layers just fine. Alright, let's zoom out. Uh. Hmm. Excuse me. Let's begin here with the uh, left wing. Merge down. Apply. Okay, that is correct. Let's go to the other one. The left leg. Merge down, apply, yes. Okay, okay. His body line art. Merge down. Merge down with this one as well. Yeah, I think this is what I want, isn't it? Left wing membrane. Do I want the membrane to be in a separate layer? No, I don't think I do. So let's merge these layers as well. Let's rename this whole layer to body. Uh, yep, that seems to be correct now. Tail main, tail main streaks, and tail main itself, as well as the tail line art and the tail colors. Rename this to just tail. And there we go, that's one big tail, one big dragon tail. Neck main line art, merge down, neck main streak and neck main color. Uh huh, that is exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Front right leg line art, merge down with just one layer. There we go. The back right leg, which is that one back there. Excellent. Right wing line art is merged down with the, the color, the line art for the membrane, and the color for the membrane. And let's just name this right wing. There we go, that is a right wing. Perfect. Uh, for the layers of the eyes, I don't have anything here that I need to merge down just yet. Before I continue merging, uh, doing anything else with the dragon, let me merge down the layers on the other characters. So I don't have to go through this process when I get to them. So when I get to them, I can just do the shading. Uh, body line art. Merge down. Okie dokie, that is correct. Chest, um, I'm going to leave this layer alone for now. Headline art, merge down. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I think I do want uh, that main over there to be on a layer of its own. Do I want this piece of the hat to be above this layer though? Or do I want it to be below? Nah, I'm just gonna leave it above. So it can be like the that tip, that end of the hat is, you know, kind of doing a curve. Yeah, that should be fine. Otherwise, if I want to have it below that layer, then I'm gonna have to make a little cut on the layer and I don't really want to do that okay so here we have the tail and the mane on, on the back of his neck that is perfect his right legs okay rocky so that is it for silver trot the little pony let's do Poki Yoshi now the Yoshi yeah, he has Many, f uh, a lot fewer layers than all the other characters. Right side, yep. That's it. <laughs> His body is basically made out of just these two layers. Wow. All right, let's go back to Braveheart over here. Let's save. Mm hmm. Now that this is saved, let's save as a different name for backup. Because this has been kind of a substantial change. And now I can begin the shading process. I will need to hide Silver Trot and Pokiyoshi, however. Let's have just Braveheart on the screen for now. Now, because he is such a big guy... Okay, this is the layer that I want. Because he's such a big guy. Shade him... Might be a bit complicated. Well, not necessarily complicated, but... It's definitely... Going to take some time. And require some some cares, some precautions, not precautions, but uh, well first I need to make sure that I have uh, pen pressure active. Let's grab a hard large brush. Uh, no, pen pressure is not working. The way to fix that, yeah, I know why. It's because I clicked on OBS, and for some reason that caused some sort of interference, I don't know. It killed pain pressure. The way to fix that is, I just simply gotta close Photoshop. Let's minimize the boy over there. Close Photoshop and open it again, and that should restore the pen pressure. So long as I don't click on OBS again. <laughs> Let's test again. Yep, there we go. Pen pressure is back. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so I said that I want the light to be coming from here. From this area up here. And to be hitting these characters right in the face. So some light here kind of like this on the top of his head like that let's add a little a little piece of light on the back as well and around the wing there yep now right here Some up here as well, and there. Okay. 
So that is the start for that. Let's add some here on this leg as well. Yeah, I guess. Uh, let's switch to the burn tool and use a larger brush of size 800. 800 is too big. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go with 800. And let's darken everything of this, all of this. Now, as you might have noticed, I did not apply any lighting to the wing membrane. And that's because that area is kind of hidden. I am going to apply some, but later. The initial, initial lighting shall not be applied. Okay, so that has been darkened. Let's go back to the Dodge tool and change the exposure to 50% and use a large brush, larger brush, I rather I should say, 900. Sure. Now let's light this up. Now, this is not undoing what I have just done with the burn tool. This is just removing half of that. Okay, his face looks kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it's taking a while to apply. Okay. Let's work on this face now. So this is the dodge tool, let's switch to the burn tool with an exposure of 50% and a smaller brush. Because right now what I want to do is to begin applying some shadows. Let's do some here, yeah that is good. Some here underneath his jaw. And this can connect with that area behind his head over there. A well applied shadow, a well applied shading, shading effect. It can and will give any flat image the idea of depth. And it actually can make something that is completely flat 2D almost, if not completely, look like 3D actually. And that is not what I'm going for, but I'm just giving you some some example. I'm gonna reduce the. Oh no, my little kitten is over here. I love this little kitten, but whenever he comes in here, he always tries to to grab and bite and, and pull and claw at every single wire he finds and there's a lot of wires over here you are going to stay quiet down there right right little guy his name is actually Bobby and I have been watching ha King of the Hill <laughs> so sometimes when when this little guy here does something he's not supposed to I say, dang it, Bobby! <laughs> uh, kind of like a hint heel. But okay, you are going to stay quiet there, right? Okay. You can stay here if you behave yourself. If you do not behave yourself, then I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have to take you outside of the bedroom, okay? And lock you out. Alright? <laughs> what a little cutie he is. All right, where was I? Right, I was doing some shading here, okay. Uh, let's go back to 50% of, actually no, 30% of pass because I have not applied this. What I wanted to do was this. 
Actually, let's begin from this side. Oh, I love the song. There we go. Now I need to apply some of this to, to this area over here. Because I need to give his lips um, some depth. So let's change this to 50% exposure. I might need a larger brush actually. Uh, 45. See that kind of already looks like uh, his his snout over here, his muzzle has shapes because it does. This area over here, that is not very good. Let me redo this and let me try to make this better. But you have got to plant your seeds. Go to war. Fight war. Your dreams start by competition. You find no one fame has ever got their dreams by flinching at their foes. Clean your dreams to torment glow with all your might and what you know. Don't let go. Just grow. Okay, I think that is better. Don't wait to play the indecision. Don't bear because you've got to be more grand. You've got to think ahead and carry out the things you plan. I'm not too sure about what I'm doing right there right now. I don't think that is very good. So let's not do that. <laughs> let's add some here on his nostril. His nostrils. Cool. Let um, me have some more zoom and a smaller brush. this on the other one over there. Just this one is fine. Uh, let's see what next. Now because the light is coming from this side here and is hitting his face dead on, then there isn't that much that I need to apply. Uh, I do want some shading here. But this piece of his mane, uh, not not quite there, no. Uh, maybe more like this. Preferably from from there. Yeah. Yeah, that that's better. No. Now this is looking like the light is coming from down here and going up. So this doesn't work. Oh, that sucks. Okay, yeah, that works. That is okay. <clears throat> Let's see, now this part of his mane, this is all on this same layer as the head. So let's add some more light on top.
Now, because there's so much light up here, I uh, don't really think I'm gonna need to worry about so much about uh, actually shading this. So it's more more lighting than shading up here. That looks nice. Is that some highlights here? And here too, sure. There. A small highlight there. Why not? Something more visible. Just gotta get the this curvature right. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, but not yet. Okay, let's do that. That is okay. Um, yeah, I think this is okay. I need a lighter brush, however, because now... 65? Yeah, I guess. Because now I want to add some more light highlights to his face. Like here, this cheek. Okay, I think I'm gonna need the mouse with this. Yeah, there we go. Now some here on on this snout, right there. Nice. Maybe a little larger, actually. And more curved. Closer to the nostrils. Yeah, I guess. I guess that works. Let's see some some over here as well. And there. Now brush 45. Some here as well. Yeah, that works. Hey, that looks nice. Um, burn tool maybe. Brush. Now, actually, a little smaller. Now, maybe some shading right here. Maybe, but I'm going to need a smaller brush. That works. Although his face looks a bit odd from this distance. Or maybe just because the lack of shading on everything else on his body. Hmm. Let's shade some more. And then let's see if that makes any difference, actually. Uh, the next thing I want to add some shading to is probably going to be the wing. So, well, since this is a large area, I'm going to need a larger brush. Now, 
this part here is more hidden away from the light of the sun so I can just cover this all kind of like this with darkness although not quite like I have done there let's begin with simple simple shapes yeah simple things like this yeah that is that simple enough I think it is is that somewhere here in the middle okay let's switch to the dodge tool slightly larger brush let's add some highlight over here no let's not add some highlight over there <laughs> let's not do that instead let's do some of that over here yeah that is it now I can bring this over here there we go that is better that is much much better now brush 300 the 300 no that's 200 let's add some of that to this membrane over here and i can reduce the size of the brush so i can add some highlight the very edge there we go that's better Oh yeah, larger brush, now a little larger actually, 400, actually even larger, 5, 600, now here I can add more light to this part of his wing, because down here there should be more light coming and hidden this area. Even if it just has a reflection from the snow. There we go. Now maybe a little more on the edges with a smaller brush. Oh yes, definitely. Now this here is kind of like light coming from, from the back. And this gives me the opportunity to switch back to the burn tool to add some shading here. Perfect. Yeah, this works. Uh, maybe some more there. see up there but that works let's see oh yeah. yeah that is good see what I was talking about depth okay that face really looks odd like that let me switch to the dodge, uh, dodge tool let me add a little bit of this Okay, right, that's a little bit better, yes. Uh, what next? Uh, this leg over here. Let's go back to the burn tool. Actually, let's keep the brush 100. Now let's let's change to one 150. 150, yes. Let's add some shadow. To the bottom of his paw over here and now to the back of this leg yes like that 
And now with a larger brush, some shadow down here on his belly, under belly. Down here on his bottom. And some over here as well. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, maybe some highlight on his leg. It was definitely that. I need a smaller brush. Going to use the mouse for this. Just because of the pen pressure. Uh -huh. Yeah, there we go. That is good. Perfect. Well, not quite perfect, but close enough. <laughs> still bothered by that face it's cute it's just the, sh the, the lighting on it seems off uh, let me do this let me dark this a little bit the brush size 400 okay that is a little better All right, so on this part of his body, I think all the shading that I need to do is pretty much done. I will have to come back here later, however, to add some more effects, but those will come later. Uh, I think I want to save. I'm still not really happy with the shading on his face. Let's see, tail. Do I want to shade his tail next? Okay, maybe I guess. Uh, let's change the exposure back to 100%. Okay, now the other cat is here. <laughs> the kitten's mom has arrived. So long as she doesn't start rubbing against my leg, my legs. That is going to be okay. Because of her, unlike him, she does not try to 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 play with the wires and such. Yeah, her thing is rub against my leg, unstoppable. Unstop. Wait, that that sentence sounds weird. She doesn't stop rubbing against my leg. Most of the time she comes here. Another thing she usually does is jump on the bed and she's not allowed on the bed and she knows that. <laughs> but he does it anyway. Okay, she just walked under the bed so that's okay for now. Hey, the kitten's following her. Okay. So long as they do not disturb me, that is going to be fine. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put them outside of the bedroom and then close the door. And it's too hot to close the door. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, I was going to do a detail next. So that's the burn tool. Let's go back to the dodge tool. 100% of the exposure. Uh, I might need an even larger brush actually, 400, maybe, 500, yeah, 500. Now light should be hitting this tail right about here, and on top, 
like this. And not quite going all the way back to the base, obviously. Although I do need to add some light around here, but on the top. Just the top. Like that, okay. Let's change to the burn tool. Brush 7800. Let's darken the whole tail. Like that. And now go back to the dodge tool with an exposure of 50% and do the same thing. But instead of darkening, we're going to make it lighter. Now I think that it's too bright. I'm gonna have to balance this. Let's go back to the burn tool with smaller brush. Let's darken this side of the tail here. Okay, now that looks better. Nice. Let me zoom in a little bit. And let's darken the bottom half of the tail over here. After all, this part is closer to the snow. It doesn't, it, 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 it isn't receiving as much light. So it needs to be dark. All right. Uh, let's go to the dodge tool, smaller brush. And let's try and do some highlights on, on the tail, or on the fur that's on the tail. On the part of the mane that is on the tail, I think that's what I mean. Okay. I think you need a larger brush. And more zoom. <laughs> now I got us to start. I got to start being careful because now. Hold on. Because now, this part of his mane that is on his tail is also well as you can see here it is on the tail so since this is on the same layer i gotta be careful not to leak these highlights into the the lighter light green area that is his tail i need a smaller brush Uh, this isn't working. I see a brighter area down here. And that should not be there. Right here. See? There was highlight leaking. I think this is going to work. For the most part, it did. Let's use a brush and hunt for this one here. Yeah, that is better. Let's go back to 65. And do these over here. On the 
fast. Yep, that works. Now here. Yeah, that, that is good. That is good. Kind of the same thing over here. Okay, that is good. Uh, in terms of applying shadows to these, um, I don't really think that is very necessary. Not really at this point, but although maybe this part here. Yeah, that could use some shading. two reasons. One, to improve the sense of depth and perspective, and also to at least try and reduce some of the of the lighting quote-unquote meekness that is going on here on these edges. You know, that can end Right about there. And, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that seems okay. Let's save. Although, I think it could use some more lighting on, on this area over here, so. Change to this brush and add more lighting to this part here, specifically this part. Just like this, yes. Now that is much, much better. Every time you see this face, I think to myself, that shading I have done there. That is not good. I don't know how I am going to fix this, but this needs to be improved. I don't like how this has turned out. I think I might have overdone on the on the lighting. Yeah, I think that might be the problem. Let's do he, uh, the, um, the mane on the back of his head now. Dodge two, yes. Wait, this is the right layer, right? Yes, it is. Now this isn't receiving as much light from the front, but it is receiving light from the back. Just not as strong of lighting as we have on the front. Let's make this brighter again, just by about half of the percentage. Okay, now let's try and do some some highlighting. Smaller brush though. Like up here, this part here does need more light, more lighting. So more highlighting. There we go. Yeah, two passes on these over here instead of three. There we go. There we have it. 
That is good. Let me go back on, on the body layer and um, do another pass over here. There we go, that's better. So this was neck main. Let's do front right leg. So that one over there. Okay, so this one has light on this side. Uh, just a little bit coming from this side. Very little. Something quite subtle. Let's change exposure here on the burn tool back to 100% and darken this. And now change it back to the dodge tool. Change the exposure on that to 50%. And oops. Uh, I accidentally changed the tool. There we go. Just by doing this, this already looks better. Uh, brush 200, yes. 50% exposure. And let's apply some shading here. Because this part is closer to the body. Yeah, that works. Let's zoom in. And now I gotta give the bottom half, the bottom half of this ball, of this ball, sorry, some shading as well. There we go. Gotta make this darker. Now with the dodge tool, I am going to add some highlights to the digits on this ball, just like I have done with this one over there. So, this, there, there, a little bit over here, yeah, not quite though. There we go. That works. Yeah, I'll wait. Okay, now that is better. Okay, Doc, so that leg is pretty much done. It needs more highlighting. First 200. Actually, 150. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah. Now the next one should be that leg back there. This one should be easy. Some lighting there, some lighting here. Some lighting down here. And let's burn all of this with the burn tool. Now remember what I was talking about making uh, making it look like the paws are deep in the snow well the, not the paws the characters are deep in the snow uh, that is something that I'm going to leave for the last first let me do all the shading on everything and then I'm going to bother with that effect uh, oops this is not what I meant to do
go. Let me add a little bit of highlights to this part here. There. Now back to the burn tool with an exposure of 50% as usual. You know, let's add some darkness down here. Down here and over here as well. Because this part here is pretty much hidden by his body. So yeah, make it a little darker like that. <sighs> yeah, right wing is going to be the next layer that I'm going to work on. Let's save first. Always remember to save your progress. Okay. One hundred percent over there. One hundred percent over here as well. And uh, it's too hot in here. I need a quick break. I will be right back.
friendship blossomed into something new. You've been so kind. I've been waiting for some time. And now our love can finally shine. It was a dark day when I lost my faith I wasn't the pony I thought I'd be And it seemed that no one could relate There was nothing left for me to see So I took a walk to the edge of the town thought of leaving it all behind when I saw a little letter fall right out of the sky as a gray mare hovered way up high I thought I was crazy when I saw her wear and then simply fly away so I opened the letter and looked inside And what was written made my day It said, isn't it great to be different? Isn't it wonderful to be exactly who you are? When you learn to start Okay, I am back. Now because I have touched OBS over there, I'm gonna have to restart Photoshop because of paint pressure. But that is no problem. I did just save anyway, so yeah. Let's do this wing over here now. Now, because this wing is slightly folded, the inner part of it is not receiving light from the sun. So only these parts here that I am running the, the brush across are. And some down here as well, because you know, reflection from the snow and that sort of stuff. Okay, so this is it. Let's go to the burn tool. I'm going to need a very large one. 900, sure. done. Let's go back to dodge at 50% opacity as usual. And instead of a brush size 900, I'm going to use size 1000 so I can light this up more easily. There we go. And now, go to the burn tool, 
Uh, why is it processing? Hmm, that was odd. Now with a burn tool and a smaller size. Uh, let me stretch a little bit. Uh, so hot in here. Uh, with this one, I am going to add some shading on the inner part of this wing. Let me begin by this thing here. Gotta be very gentle. There we go. Let's do the same thing with this one. Only one side. No, 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 that is wrong. Yeah, that looks pretty bad up there. Let me undo both of these and instead use a very, very large brush. Size 100. And the mouse. It's dark at this whole area here, as a whole. Yeah. Now with a smaller brush, 200 maybe, I can... Ah, this looks so bad. I can make this a lot better. I can. Let me undo all of this that I have done on this wing so far. Did I undo everything? I think I did. You know what? It's only been about two hours of stream, but it's still hot in here. I'm not really feeling like it. I think I'm going to, to to cut this stream short by one hour. Yeah, I, two art Sundays I usually go for three hours at, at, on the very least, but I think I'm gonna gonna have this one here be just one hour because it is really hot in here. I'm really really having issues constantly focusing on on, on this thing. Because of the heat, it's, it's too warm in here. Oh, it's unbearable. So I apologize for cutting the stream short. Now let's not save. But I need to to refresh myself. It's way too hot. Ah, let's skill Tetris over here. Oof. So yeah, I am very sorry for, for cutting the stream short by an hour today. And um, although I also did cut the stream short short by an hour last week, but when I did that, that was because I had to start the stream one hour late, not because it was too hot. But today it is because it is too hot. Ah, regardless, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, the next stream should, uh, will be the Gaming Friday on Friday, and that is going to be Christmas Day, the 25th. I think I am going to play a game called PC Beauty Builder Simulator. Uh, let me see, where, where is that? I thought I had put here my favorites. You press the letter P. I did not. I thought I did, but I didn't. <laughs> well, let me do that now. As soon as Steam responds. There we go. Uh, where is it? There it is. PC Building Simulator. A friend gave me this, this game. I have never played it yet. Um, since. I mean, I have never played this at all. I have been meaning to play for quite a while, for quite some time now, but I didn't. So I think this is what I'm going to be playing on, on Christmas Day. If 
by any chance uh, the stream doesn't work with this game I don't know maybe the game is too heavy for my for my old computer ironically <laughs> um, then instead I'm going to be playing delirium this game over here this is actually a horror game believe it or not it's quite creepy but it is also kind of centered around Christmas so yeah, the, uh, the, the story happens during Christmas, so Christmas Day, Christmas Story, you know, <laughs> should fit. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, Gaming Friday, every Friday a different game at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So if any of you is available during that time on Christmas and you would like to join me for a little gaming, you are very welcome. And... Uh, Hopefully on the next short Sunday, on the next Sunday, 2 p.m., I will manage to... Excuse me. I managed to do at least three hours or hours of stream. As for this picture that I, that I was working on, I wanted to finish this in time for Christmas. And maybe I could do it today, because other than shading, there isn't really much else to do on that. But like I said... It is way too hot in here and I am having troubles concentrating. So if I have the time, I am actually do another stream sometime during the week before the, the 24th of December, preferably. So I don't know, maybe, maybe the 22nd or the 23rd, so either Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know what time. So you will have to stay alert for any announcements. And hopefully I can finish the this picture then. Though I doubt I will have time for that during the week. Ah, uh, that's gonna suck. I, I thought I would be able to finish this thing for this Christmas this time. For the past four years, I have been telling myself, this year I'm finishing this for Christmas. And I don't do it. Then on the, on the next year I say, this year, I'm finishing this for Christmas, and I don't do it again. And this has been going on for four years. <laughs> I'm a little frustrated, but eh, what can I do? Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, again, sorry for cutting this stream short. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. God bless you. Have a great weekend. Have a great Christmas. God bless. I already said that. Uh, stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Okay.
Your dreams live by competition You'll find no one famous ever got there Just by flinching at the foes Cling against the torment claw With all your might at what you know Don't let go Just glow Don't wait or play to indecision Check the bed I'm taking just because you got to be more grand You got to think ahead and carry out the things you planned So trust can be your fears when you can see my thoughts all slay Because I'll turn your trips to trash